Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be going over my sliding barn door build. This is a project we've been planning on doing for a long time and we finally got around to it. And the first thing I'm going to do is rough cut all my boards for the back of the sliding door. I'm going to rough cut all those on the miter saw. And it's about this time that I'm wishing I had a miter saw station. And I haven't used the joint in a while, so let's get it wiped down with some wax. And since we did one side on the joiner, we're going to get the other side square on the table saw. Again, it would be very nice to have an outfeed table at this point. A little sanding. Now I'm going to lay out all my boards so I can decide the grain direction and which boards I want on the outside. And at this time I just happen to have a little visitor from across the street come by. And all the boards together are a little too wide for our for my door frame, so I'm gonna cut the two outside boards down just a little bit. And then once I get them laid down, I'm gonna mark them all up and get them ready for gluing. I decide just to use glue on these joints and not use any sort of biscuits or pocket holes or anything. Glue should be perfectly fine, especially since a lot of the trim is going to be holding all the boards together. And really glue for just a door should be perfectly fine. And here I'm trying out a power planer that someone gave me. I figured since no one's going to see the back of the door, this would be a good opportunity to play with it a little bit. It ended up working okay, it's just the blades are kind of dull. But it didn't really matter to me that much since it's the back of the door that no one's ever going to see and it's going to be painted over. And I'm going to get the ends of the boards 
flush cut with the circular saw. And now I'm going to start cutting down the trim pieces to their final lengths. And the trim is going to be attached with just glue and brad nails. And for this angled cut, I just laid the board where I want to, made marks underneath it, and then connected the line with the straight edge, and just made that cut on my miter saw. And then that is also being put down with glue and brad nails, and a finish sanding. And clean it up with vacuum and air compressor, and we're ready for paint. But first we're going to fill the holes with some putty, quick sanding, and now we're ready for paint. We decided to use the leftover paint that we had from our last project that we were doing. And this is the sliding bar door hardware I bought online from Amazon. And the only bad thing about the hardware is that it didn't really line up with my studs perfectly. I think I read that they might have been lined up for European stud spacing. I could get about three of the studs to line up and so at this point I'm marking and drilling some new holes that match up with my studs. And you also could instead mount a, a 1x or 2x board to the wall and then mount this into that but I'm going straight into the studs. And here, just to double check, I am just double making sure 100% where the studs are. I did use a stud finder to find all the studs, but I always like before I go hitting a nail in there just to make sure completely where the studs are and that there's nothing obstructing. And I'm drilling a pilot hole, and here I'm attaching the barn door hardware with my impact driver. And to get the door flush, I put down some shims and I made it level and I marked my holes for my um, wheels and I attached them, but in this picture I did all the work and attached them and they were upside down. So I had to take them off and re-put them on the correct way. And here we go, the first time I am testing putting the door onto the sliding hardware. And there's a little problem. Then as you can see in this next shot, because I didn't use a backer board behind the railing, the hard door hardware mounted behind is just hitting on the trim. So to solve that, we are going to drill some holes so the nuts can be recessed into the wood and they don't stick out. It works. All right, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is a pretty easy build. I get a lot of myself three days to build this and I actually only built it in two because I had to stay late at work one day. Um, no, I just had to do a few minor touch-ups. Like uh, you can kind of see, I got to fill in some of these gaps and I actually have to paint the back of the door, which um, wasn't, we needed it ready for a party. So the back not being painted wasn't a big deal. Overall, it's a pretty easy project. Um, there's lots of different ways you can build these doors. This is the way my wife wanted. You can actually choose a much, uh, you can choose a much thinner back if you want behind this. You can use a piece of bead board or some like house siding or something like that. Um, just depending on what your budget is or how heavy you want it to be. This is a pretty heavy door, so just make sure you get those those into the studs pretty good. Other than that, it wasn't too bad. We're getting a lot of these projects done around the house. So hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.